Episode 54KH. They are burned by German corporations, among others. For example, RWE confirms that it will purchase pellets from Enviva for two coal-fired power plants in the Netherlands that don't just burn coal. It's called co-firing and RWE is doing it on a grand scale. Research at Enviva's local pellet plants shows that smaller logs of different thickness and quality are used for large-scale production. On request, Enviva states that wood is mainly used for pellet production that usually cannot be used on other higher-value markets, such as tree crowns and branches, crooked or diseased trees, calamity wood, overburden, undergrowth, or thin tree trunks. Environmental activists doubt meaningfulness. When it comes to sustainability, the standards of some of the largest certifiers are applied. Only 3% of their wood comes from the natural deciduous forests in their area. From 2011 to 2021, forest in Enviva's primary sourcing districts increased by more than 20%. Environmental activists question the validity of these numbers. The analysis identified 48 subcertification companies that had certified products from companies that had previously been accused of logging protected forest, using false permits or importing illegally harvested timber. More than 340 certified wood processing companies have been accused of environmental crimes or other offenses since 1998, around 50 of which had received certificates confirming their sustainability even after they had already had to pay fines or had been convicted. Research, billions in subsidies for wood combustion. Africa. Africa, Cookstop projects in Rwanda, Uganda, Sub-Saharan Africa, Tanzania, Nepal and Zambia. Projects open for public comment, February 27, 2023, Vera. Vera. Altamira Grouped Red Plus Project, closes March 22, installation of high-efficiency wood burning cookstoves in Rwanda, closes March 22. Excerpt. To ensure the transparency and rigor of our standards programs, VERA invites comments from the public on whether projects seeking to register in one or more of VERA's standards programs meet the requirements of that program. Comments received by VERA will be published to the project record on the VERA registry and must be considered by the project proponent. The public comment periods for the following projects opened during the week of February 19th. To submit a comment, click on the hyperlink for the respective project and enter your feedback in the public comment box on the project page on the VERA registry. Rwandan Improved Cookstove Project closes March 22. Installation of high efficiency wood burning cookstoves in Uganda 2 closes March 22. Installation of high efficiency cookstoves in Sub Saharan Africa by ECC closes March 24. Installation of high-efficiency wood-burning cookstoves in Tanzania, Project 3, closes March 25. SMG, Nepal Cookstove Program in Terai Region of Himalayas, closes March 26. Installation of high-efficiency wood-burning cookstoves in Zambia, Project 2, closes March 26. India and Pakistan India and Pakistan's Mutual Pollution Global Village Space Global Village Space 14 of the top 15 cities in the world with the highest particulate matter, PM, 2.5 pollution levels are located in India and Pakistan. Excerpt Every winter, South Asia's severe pollution worsens contributing to an estimated 128,000 deaths in Pakistan and 1.2 million deaths in India, more than the total deaths in either country. Instead of attempting to work together on the issue for mutual benefit, the governments of India and Pakistan react by placing blame on one another. Brick kills and farmers burning post-harvest rice stubble all contribute to the deadly pollution that blankets northern India and Pakistan. This results in the creation of the most poisonous air in the world, measured by the amount of microparticle pollutants, though small enough to lodge deep inside people's lungs, enter their bloodstreams, and cause cardiovascular and lung disease. 14 of the top 15 cities in the world with the highest particulate matter, PM, 
2.5 pollution levels are located in India and Pakistan. The air quality severely harms the health of millions of people and their future economic potential in South Asia. The risk of heart and lung disease and strokes is elevated by high concentrations of fine particulate matter, PM, 2.5. Air pollution also results in a 2.9-year decrease in the global average life expectancy. In India, air pollution reduces average life expectancy by five years. A recent study found that the typical life spans of Indians living on the Indo-Gangetic plain are up to seven years shorter than without air pollution. As winds and rain decrease every winter, a brown haze high in sulfur and metals like lead accumulates over the subcontinent. For most of this winter, as for many earlier years as well, Mumbai, the commercial hub of India, had been shrouded in thick smog. The PM-induced grey haze has wholly obscured the city's skyline. Mumbai experienced 36 days of poor air quality between November and January, posing a health risk to even healthy individuals. In winter, there were significant smog-related disruptions in Pakistan's Punjab province, which produces 60% of the country's output, school holidays were prolonged, flights were diverted or delayed, and highways were shut down overnight. In India, burning anything besides fuels was prohibited under an ambitious air pollution control regulation from 1981, but it was never really implemented. Worse still, Punjab state in India accidentally pushed farmers hastily clear their fields for winter wheat by burning enormous acreages of rice residue after each harvest to save scarce water by announcing a delay in the rice growing season. When pollution levels reached extremes in Delhi, the local authorities shut down a coal-fired power plant and occasionally restricted automobile traffic. The Indian government established a commission in 2020 to enhance the capital city's air quality. Despite the various government initiatives and COVID lockdowns, the air quality did not improve significantly. According to the Center for Science and the Environment in New Delhi, more substantial, enforceable, and broad reforms are needed. Read more, be a part of solution, not pollution even a national network of stations for measuring air quality is absent in Pakistan, making it impossible for the people to know the full scope of the issue. The Citizen Monitoring Project now known as the Crowdsourced Pakistan Air Quality Initiative, was followed by some official initiatives. The Punjab province of Pakistan restricted the burning of grain stubble to clear farms and mandated improvements to conventional, coal-fired brick kills, but these rules need to be adequately enforced. The governments of India and Pakistan cannot cooperate on the smog situation due to their mutual hostility. The ideal situation would be for the two countries' governments to collaborate on data exchange and policy development while each is working towards a locally set goal. As a result, India and Pakistan could give more straightforward or affordable pollution control measures, like controlling brick kills, priority over more complex or expensive ones, like dismantling coal-fired power plants. In the end, cooperation is the key. India, air conditioners are now combined with PM2.5 filters. Six best ACs under 45,000 in India to beat the summer blues, the Economic Times. The Economic Times. Equipped with a PM2.5 filter, this smart air conditioner can filter out fine particles and supply fresh air. Brand, carrier, type, split AC. India, Guwahati. Degrading air quality of smart Guwahati. Guwahati Plus. It's all because of two main reasons in pollution control language that we say PM 2.5 and PM 10. PM is particulate matter, 2.5 is the size. India, Odisha. Cheaper diagnostic tests in up hospitals soon, newsroom Odisha. Breaking news newsroom Odisha. Long-term PM 2.5 exposure linked to increased heart attack risk. Young Hyderabad cop died while working out at gym.